No hurry to throw the ball. Play fake, and here comes Alu Alu. And the ball comes out, and they're going to say that Weber's arm was going forward, so it's incomplete. But that is the third time Alu Alu has been in the backfield, hitting a hold on Adam Weber. Alu Alu, number 44, just takes an inside move. There you see with a left hand, a little shovel pass, so that is an incompletion. Yep. Smart play by Adam Weber. Dangerous play, though. The tight end there, number 48, is uh, is an eligible receiver. With Tower Net, and you talk about it. Alu Alu is matched up with Jeff Wills at 365 pounds. Right now, quickness is winning that matchup. Alu Alu is a linebacker. Weber unloads, and Stoudemire can't come up with it. It might have been tipped by a linebacker, and Stoudemire is going to get flagged. He just shoved Sean Catus of California. We talked about how he's an impact player. Well, if you want to be an impact player on a third down, you got to make the catch. And the ball was thrown slightly behind, but Stoudemire is a good enough player and a good enough athlete to bring that in and keep your composure, young man. Well, That's what Coach Brewster needs to tell him right now. They should have flagged Katoos for taunting there exactly. also. Yeah, he, Unsportsmanlike he like conduct for a taunt. Well, California. Yeah. Personal foul. Number 11, Minnesota. Right. Those penalties canceled. They were dead ball fouls. Fourth down. That's well officiated right yep. there. <laughs> Setting up the return. An opportunity for Allen, and then he gets drilled. The ball comes out, and that's going to be a penalty flag for kick catch interference. Jesse Brooks leveled Ryan Allen. He's Ryan's little, hurt. Yeah, he's a little wobbly. That's the freshman. Welcome to the FBS. Oh, that's helmet to helmet there. You saw his, uh, saw Allen's hel hel helmet fly back. And kick catch interference. Yeah. He thinks he's at the Metrodome right now. I'll tell you, that's gutso for a freshman to come in. But that's what, that's what the new NCAA rules are there for, the safety of it. To eliminate that helmet hitting the other guy's helmet, he, you know, he's, he's, he's unprotected. He's right there trying to catch a ball, and the other guy's running downfield 30 Dick miles an hour. On the kicking team. It's also a personal foul. The 15-yard penalty, first down. Personal foul was the helmet to helmet hit. It was Sofele who had the hit. Double numbers for Cal. Well, he didn't duck his head, at least. At least he hit him with his face mask. And I, it, I know it does not make a difference, but usually the top part of the helmet can do more damage. But I'll give Allen credit. So encouraging guts to field that football and try to make a play. Now, next time, coach is going to say, hey, you know that right hand? Wave it hot. Well, not a spot foul uh, in college, so it just would have been a uh, That's true. You're right. first down. You're right. As Weber throws deep, and a terrific grab by Brandon Green going upstairs inside the 15. Number one comes to the inside. Green goes. He skies. Just a little guy makes up a nice play. This is a big drive for Minnesota. If they can get this ball in the end zone, They'll go into halftime with a really a positive attitude. Weber, fade, Decker wide open, touchdown! into the record books. 
his 199th career catch. And it's a big one, a touchdown that gets the Gophers within a score late in the second quarter. Extra point good. Second touchdown for Decker. And remember, he got drilled. A lot of guys would have been knocked out of the game after that first touchdown. Tough yeah. kid. I'm impressed. It's the second time they beat Darian Hagan on a double move. First, the ball fake. And it was a sluggo in, in the football universal language. Sluggo was the slant. Go. Excellent job of Decker selling the route. Excellent job of Weber pumping. Hagan wants to make a play. Got a little nosy. Good job, Rumi. You too, 